Pisces. Hello, Pisces. Pisces, we're going to do something different. What is spirit blocking out? What are they freeing you from, Pisces? Pisces, if you would like a personal reading, all that information is on my About Me section. Pisces, someone is blocking your 10th house, career, long-term goals, status, reputation, public image, masculinity. Mental chaos all up in the head. Pisces, you're being freed from this situation that's keeping you stuck all up in your head. Keep your faith. A lot of bad before the good. Don't give up. Hurt people, hurt people. Don't let that you. Let go and find new. Unfinished business. Uh, proposal, forgiveness, reconciliation, Pisces. So hurt people, hurt people. You're going to understand why either you hurt someone or someone hurt you or you both hurt each other and you have unfinished business with that person. Uh, Pisces, you could be... Either unemployed, broke, fired, or living beyond your means, or they are Pisces. You, spirit is freeing you from being uh, unemployed. So if you're thinking you're going to lose your job, the answer is no. You're not going to be losing your job. Still on dating sites. So Pisces, if you believe that someone's still on it. You could be freeing yourself from a dating site or someone is freeing themselves from, well, I'm getting, you're being freed from someone who's still on dating sites, Pisces. Yes, this is your divine feminine, but she's unhealed and she's full of drama. The X, unfaithful, love triangle, X in question. So, Pisces, this is telling me right here that you're being freed from an ex who's still on dating sites. She's your divine feminine, but she is unfaithful and putting you in some type of love triangle. Your child is going through a tough time mentally. Do something to get closer. So, Pisces, you, someone could be blocking you from spending quality time with your child. And if that is the case, then you need to start spending time with your child and block out whoever that is. Spirit's going to block this person, place, or thing out as well so you can be freed and spend, have, spend time with your child. You need to heal and learn to be alone. Stop chasing people. You're only blocking your blessings. Pisces, you need to learn to be alone. Okay? So learn to be alone because... The more you chase people, you're only blocking your blessings. Now, if you're in a connection, for example, and you're chasing your love interest or your spouse and you want to be there 24-7 with them, you know, they love you too, but you can't always be together. Everybody has a life and everybody has goals and dreams of their own they have to focus on too. So don't chase people, places or things because you're only blocking your own blessings when you do that. When you could be more focused on yourself and your own goals and dreams. Uh, your hobby will make you happy and money will come from it. So if anyone has blocked you from your hobby <clears throat> and let's say, well, you do have a hobby and you want to make money from it and someone is blocking you. So spirit is blocking that out. Your ancestors are blocking these people out from ruining that for you. We have evil eyes, black magic. You're being freed from all the black magic that is being done on you. Someone who is always arguing over political reviews. This could be a air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius person. They're blocking you. Oh, that is a hopeless situation with them. They're blocking this person out. This person could have dimples and spying online drama talking shit. This person could still be on dating sites as well. An envious partner. Yeah, this person's an envious partner. So you could be dealing Pisces with a Cancer Pisces or could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, another one like yourself, but a water sign. But you could be dealing with yeah, you 
yeah, Spear is blocking this person out because they're still on dating sites. And this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Uh, this is all this situation is. There's nothing to come from it. It's infatuation. You, there's obsession, attraction. It's just passion, you know, obsession right there. So they're blocking this out. They don't have, if they're trying to come towards you, it's only because they're infatuated with you or they're obsessed with the attraction and it's an, more of an intimate thing than, you know, wanting something stable. Yeah, this person coming back will put you in the same cycle, exactly what I just said. So, if you're dealing with the Pisces, like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Water Sign, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this person coming back is only going to put you in the same cycle. This person holds you back from family and friends. Yeah, this person will put you, hold you back from family and friends. Your ancestors are blocking them out from doing that. They want what they can't have, so they are trying to ruin you secretly. Yeah, so this person wants what they can't have, so they're coming in, they're trying to. We have water sign. I did say water sign. Water sign wasn't out here, but I felt guided to say that. Water sign is now out here. Air sign energy out here as well. This person could have tattoos uh, on their neck or a sleeve tattoo. They want to communicate, so spirit's blocking that conversation out. Kids don't like him or her doing, saying whatever to get rid of this person. So your kids, they're going to walk out a messy situation with this, with this person already. So you can have an air sign that's telling their kids to say whatever uh, or do whatever to get rid of you, Pisces, or vice versa. But spirit is blocking that situation out from happening. Love is going to find you. Stop looking. You only attract karmas towards you at this time. And Pisces, if you... <coughs> are in something spirit is making sure you stay alone right now so you stop attracting karmics to your life you haven't learned the lesson pisces this could be you all about the physical infatuation the runner chaser game obsession attraction you know you need to get out of that mind state and high value the empress so yeah, this person could be blocking you, Pisces, from being an empress. Or, or this could be someone is blocking a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is blocking your love interest from being a... Maybe you want this high-value empress and you have a air sign and a water sign. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you have an empress already in your life, a twin flame connection that you're trying to focus on. And one of these people or these people are trying to block your empress and you from moving forward. They want what they can't have, so they're secretly trying to ruin you. Someone is bringing you a gift or is planning something sweet for you. So, yeah, so that could be... Uh, Someone is trying to bring something sweet either to your empress to block out uh, you out of the situation, but spirit is blocking this person out from giving, coming in and rushing in. Since you already have an empress in your life, a high value empress, uh, spirit is blocking out whoever is coming in with this gift, the gift of temptation. They're trying to tempt you or your person. I know it hurts, but Spirit said they heard truths being spoken that would have hurt more. Yeah, so this person, they, Spirit's blocking them out. Your ancestors are blocking them out because they already heard what this person's about to do. They already know this person's coming in to sabotage and ruin things for you, and then they're going out. It's just, they'll probably have sex with you. They'll probably tell you everything you want to hear, and then they're out again. So pay attention to that as well. Secretly hurting inside wants you suffering too. Yeah, so either your Empress, Twin Flame, uh, X, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is wanting to sabotage you or both of you. And 
your ancestors and guides are blocking this person out, doing whatever it takes to hold you back. Yeah, they're trying hard to do whatever they can. Drinking is hurting you more. Drink one and do something healthy. Yeah, so one of you uh, Pisces could have been a drinker and you drank, 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 drank. And one of these exes knows that about this person and they want, they're doing some type of uh, spell work because we did have out here evil eye black magic and when black magic is being done they want the person to go back into old habits and addictions is one of them so if you or your spouse was a drinker this air sign energy or this water sign energy is trying to get one of you to slip up either you Pisces or your Empress to uh, fall back in drinking and bad habits these church slash godly people in your family are the real ones who stir the pot. So Pisces, you could have uh, people in your family that are act all godly and they sit there and put a big act on. In reality, uh, they're the ones who start the most drama in your life. Spirit, your ancestors, they know this and they're blocking those people from stirring the pot. We have water energy again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, yes, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius out here heavy. Okay, don't give up on yourself. Bad thoughts are destroying your life. Yeah, so Pisces, your ancestors, because this these people are doing black magic on you and your empress, uh, they don't want you both to give up on yourself. One of your either your empress she can have bad thoughts at times uh she can you know sometimes her mind gets the best of her and that can ruin your connection so that's part of the black magic uh, this person these people this air sign or water sign energy here they have really they have the desire um and intense feelings they might even self-pleasure themselves and have sexual thoughts regarding you or your person and they're trying heavy to sabotage you and your connection Pisces what other messages for the Pisces other messages for the Pisces other messages for the Pisces mm -hmm. we have lies friends closest ones so Pisces if you have some friends uh those friends are could be lying to you and spirit is blocking them out of your life or your empress's life because i see your empress here out here and she plays a role in your life as well big part of it so either you or your spouse pisces uh has friends that are liars and spirit is blocking yeah so this is a twin flame Pisces connection between you and your empress. And I see a lot of black magic being done. It's a twin flame connection. And what happens when we are in a twin flame connection? The devil wants your attention. Why? Because you and your twin have a purpose. You're supposed to do great things together. And if that's not bring a child into the world that's going to help this world, then it's showing you and your twin you guys are both awakened and you guys have unconditional love for each other and you show the next generation and the next generation how to love and take care of each other. So what does the devil want? The devil does not like that. The devil does not love. The devil wants hatred and cheating and sexual, you know, cheating and lie. But someone feels guilty and remorseful about this already they already know that they're in devil energy they know they're feeling guilty and ashamed already by doing this why because god who is more powerful well god or the devil god always wins and it, he's making this person feel ashamed uh pisces this person could say that you're a bad parent you or your Empress Pisces, you have a water sign or an air sign energy out here saying that you or your spouse is a bad parent. Your kids want your time or a kid 
wants to spend time with you, they'll teach you something. Yeah, so uh, Pisces, <sighs> your kid wants your attention. So the Pisceans that don't have their children, your kid wants your attention, but this air sign or water sign is blocking you from seeing your child. And God is going to your ancestors, your spirit guides, they're blocking that out so that you can spend time with your child. Okay, so if you don't get to see your child, they're blocking these people out or this person out from uh, trying to sabotage your connection with your child. Not only that, your child is going to teach you something very valuable. And when this child appears back in your life, they will end up teaching you something very, very valuable. Trying to humble you down. So these people are trying to humble you down, Pisces, or this Empress down. Real quick, pretty, shiny, good looking, devil plotting, do not accept. Yeah, Pisces, either the, these, this Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or this Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is coming in and they're trying to tempt you with something, let's say, we have infatuation, obsession, attraction. So maybe this person looks good, shiny and pretty, and you take the bait or you fall for it. And that's the devil. That is not God's energy. Okay, that's the devil. Do not fall for it. Your ancestors are blocking that out from you falling for the temptation. Do not use that person as a rebound. It's going to give you bad karma. Yeah, so this person is trying to come in being pretty, shiny, and good looking. And if you fall for it, this is what you get. Do not use that person as a rebound. It's going to give you bad karma. Okay, blocking your 11th house. Your groups, friends, social awareness, hopes, dreams, and wishes for the future. Hopes, wishes, future. Okay, 11th house. This, these people, either this air sign energy or this water sign energy is trying to block you out your hopes and wishes for the future. So whatever you want in the future, Pisces, you're being blocked from this. If you take the bait, you will be blocked because the only thing they want from you is they want to throw temptation in your face and then they're going to run. They want to hurt you and then they're going to run. We also have earth sign energy, quiet ones plotting. So you can have an earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, that is plotting on you at this time. The quiet ones are plotting. Whoever is plotting against you, Pisces, that is being blocked by your ancestors at this time as well. Let's see. Well, we don't have to get into what they're trying to plot, but hmm, summer months flings new people. So maybe this earth sign thinks you have new people or person in your life and they're pissed off about it. Yeah, they want to reconcile, reconciliation, resolving harmonies or resolving issues, getting back together and harmony. They want to reconcile. Yeah, so this person, so we have earth, air, fire, or not fire, could be dealing with a fire sign as well. So we have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn out here. Spirit is blocking this person from coming in. Because you're with a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. What's the lesson? They know that you're with a soulmate. Twin flame. And they want to know what the lesson is. And that's why they're hurting, crying, depressed, pain, and in sorrow. Because they want to ruin that and sabotage it for you. Why? Because the devil is plotting. Do not accept the pretty shiny offer. Because that is the devil throwing temptation in your face to see if you're going to ruin everything peer pressure always pushing you into some bs so yeah they're going to throw themselves at you push themselves upon you and they're going to make sure that you try to fall for this temptation do not accept it let's see oh give me one second pisces one second grab a deck of cards all right pisces i'm going to use these 
what is going to happen to the Pisces if they take this person back or the Empress takes their ex back? Reunion. Clinging to the comfort zone, so unable to move forward into something new because someone's clinging to their south node. And it's only going to cause confusion and illusions in this situation because the person, either you Pisces or your person, is clinging to their south node. They're going what, with what feels comfortable the most. So when hurt people hurt people, when you've been hurt and you've been in a long-term relationship and you already know, yeah, so somebody's going to get karma. It'll be karmic. So this will be a karmic, another, you'll be back together. You have a karmic soul tie with this person. You're clinging to them because it feels comfortable, but all it is is confusion and illusion. Take the rose colored glasses off and see what's behind that. What's behind the rose colored glasses? Uh, your ancestors will be sending you messages regarding this connection that you jump back into or your person. Here we go. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Attraction. They're going to come in and you may find this person attractive or they find you attractive, Pisces. And next thing you know, they're going to hit it and quit it pretty much. It's quick, shiny, pretty, and then going to be some hot, passionate you know what? And then the person is going to stay guarded. Okay? That's it. So the person, and we have, do not use that person as a rebound. It's going to give you bad karma. Here's your karma right here. Karmic connection. Karma, soul ties. So we also have balanced justice, but this is not the case. When these two come out, this is a karmic to soul tie that you have because nobody's supposed to be clinging to their north node and you won't get out see how the woman has saran wrap over her face you're not supposed to do that because there it's confusion and chaos so your spirit guides are sending you all these messages about this person coming in to tempt you with some sex or whatever and then they're gonna leave they're gonna stay guarded afterwards why? Because they're hurting, crying, and depressed. What other messages for the Pisces if they jump into this connection with this person? We have, yes, there it is, toxic, bound, and patterns. Same thing. All right, Pisces, I'm going to close your reading out right there. That has been your reading. If you had resonated with this, please give me a thumbs up. Comment if you want to and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.